The Kundalini is no demon per se that I know of, however this may be technically incorrect. Going over the angelic conflicts, figures and their exiled dominions it is possible that the Hindu deities are a branch of the exiled fallen angels sent to walk the earth without corporeal forms until the end of the world. More specifically the fallen angel known as Mephistopheles or his angelic title that, was once known as Azraphael one of the original holy scribes of the books of judgment. It is said that upon the day of the creation of heaven there were three books made, the book of life, that contained every thought, deed and desire within each being's heart that was, will or may one day be, its keeper and holy angelic scribe was that of Saint Peter, who sits outside the white gates of heaven, long white beard, Ben Franklin glasses with a larger than necessary golden book with jewels encrusted on the cover with the person whose life is being held up for review emblazoned on the cover and he easily can be mistaken for Methuselah, with a slight balding circle on top with flowing white hair around the sides. No, I've never seen him before at all, the second book was the book of the holy, of holies, which is guarded and protected by the son of man, who sure or Jesus and contains the name of every individual who is to be granted entrance into paradise, for only through him can we enter the kingdom of heaven is applied here, as well as many other misinterpreted titles such as all our sins and transgressions are forgiven through him, as his heavenly role in allowing entrance to paradise to those listed in the holy of holies. Then there was Azraphael, keeper of the book of the damned and scribe of perdition's gates. In it are listed the names of every individual who is to be cast from the presence of God, including those who were to be cast into the lake of fire of the wrath of the Holy Spirit, sinners sent to the shores of Sheol, the wicked who were to suffer in their bowels of furlong, those condemned into the lands of perdition and those who were to be destroyed by Apollyon and his army within the darkness of oblivion that lies at the end of the bottomless pit. Each a dominion maintained by one of the seven fallen angels and then the seventh who oversees all the activities within the infernal domain, Lucifer, who is the shepherd of lost souls and through his great wisdom given to him by God upon his creation, paves the path for those within the six domains of damnation and fulfills his purpose and title that leads all lost souls back towards the Lord's mercy and forgiveness through absolution and penance. These three books shall sift the field of souls during the great harvest of souls like wheat from chaff, separating the sinner from the saint, their wicked from the righteous. One book they dot say remains in heavens, one in hell and one on earth. But as Raphael, became dark with contempt for his role as one of the scribes allowed him to know the problems and sins of everyone within hell's domain but did not allow him to do anything about it. He felt that his very purpose and creation was unfair and in time these feelings swelled into resentment, towards God along with the feeling of inferiority as the creator. However it was not as Raphael's place to understand the responsibilities that fall upon a creator, that when you create something you also are responsible for shaping its purpose and most importantly, when its time ends and the path to which how that occurs. And so, for his transgressions, not within his deeds but in his heart, he, too was cast down but not as harshly as the others, until he could reach a point of self-enlightenment to these truths on his own, which led to him being appointed to the role of Vishnu over the Hindu people in hopes he would learn through their struggles and the basic outline of the conflicts and struggles experienced by the Hindu deities. How do I control fear when meeting with supernatural beings, like a demon jinn devil? Well there are many ways to eliminate your fear. Considering the details of your enemies I would assume you are mystically capable, so there are ways of binding, extracting or banishing portions of your persona, but of all the different methods, they all are only temporary. An example, it is said within the whispers of a cult rumor that after Joshua had defeated, and conquered the city of Jericho, knowing that he could not rule his people with heart of a man who was pure in the eyes of the god of his forefathers, El Elim, he sought to use the magic passed to him by his brother Moses when he died before entering the promised lands, to draw out and purify himself from the horrors he witnessed in the war and the scars it left on his mind. 
So he created a, rumored but secret object that was similar to that of the Ark of the Covenant. Only instead of the blessings brought forth by those whose lands the Ark of the Covenant rested in, this box held all the evils and sins that were born in the hearts of the Hebrews who had fought in the battlefields with Joshua against the Philistines. He locked and sealed the darkness of his people away within what, became known as Pandora's box. When Joshua returned to the promised lands far to the north above Turkey he returned as the king of Olympus and became Zeus, one of the defenders of the sacred sanctuary that dwells in the same place as Jerusalem but in another realm. The promised lands then became the outer courtyard of the divine holy temple of the Almighty and the core reason why control of Jerusalem has been fought over and defended so harshly for thousands of years. However the city of Jerusalem and the holy place that is found there in the heavenly realm is heaven. The place of the archangels and defenders of creation, it is not the place of paradise or the center of God's kingdom as many assume. When this place was first erected its command was given to Lucifer and was more like, a central watchtower through which he and the other angels that were assigned to watch over the earth and creation from. After that was established God continued his works throughout the universe and left Lucifer to his post as lead guardian. The rest I cannot speak of as it would upset many plans still unfolding. We cannot be vanquished. <laughs> 